Hello, this is a homework problem where we're going to sketch an example of a function f that satisfies all of the given conditions. And so we're going to sketch one function that satisfies all of these conditions. There's a lot of choices that we can make when we're sketching this graph. So different people might have a slight, you know, have a different graph, but we'll try to meet all these conditions. We will, we're gonna meet all these conditions. So the first one that I'm going to look at is over here where I have the limit of the function f of x as x approaches zero is one. And what I'll do then is I'll look for on the graph that I'm drawing here, um, x equals zero and y equals one. And I'm going to put a, an open circle there. So let me put an open circle there, and for the limit to equal 1, I'm going to have my graph in red, and I'm just going to draw something like that. So the limit's 1. It doesn't, at least I, I'm not focusing, I'm not looking at the other things. It might tell us, as I look forward, oh, it does tell us, that f, oh, the, down over here, that f of 0 is negative 1. Okay, now for f of 0 is negative 1, I guess I'll put another circle below, but I'll I'll color in that one. So this shows a graph where the limit is equal to 1 at 0, but the value of the function is negative 1 at 0. And suppose someone else says, well, or thinking, I'd like my graph to look like just a little differently, you know, just a little different. That would be fine. As long as the limit's 1. Maybe it'll be like that. Okay, but maybe I'll erase that also. Um, the next piece is color code, coding a little. As x approaches 3 from the left, the limit is negative 2. So if I go to 3, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm going to go to x equals 3, and I'll have from the left, the limit's negative 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little circle here, and I'm going to do something like that so that the limit is negative 2. So, so remember that this is the, you know, the, the left of 3. And now I feel like I need to connect these. You can do a squiggle line or a straight line, but we need to connect those. And then moving on to the next piece, to the right, the limit from the right of 3 is equal to 2. And so I'll draw a circle up here and make a squiggle from the right. And it could be a squiggle, it could be a straight line, whatever you want. It's, it's, it's not specified. But then it also tells us that f of 3 is equal to 1. So when x equals 3, y is equal to 1. So this, this means, this three plus means from the right. Of three. So from the right of three, the limit is positive two. Well, sometimes it's good if other people are here to tell me if I made a mistake, but it looks Looks like I think it's good. Um, let's see what else can I do to improve. Maybe I would um, just label a little bit like one, two, three, etc. But that sort of makes it messy too. Okay. Uh, let's back up and just get the whole problem in here. I should have maybe done that the whole time, but okay. I think I think that's where where we'll finish the video. All right, goodbye.